Hi guys, welcome to Edrock Spot. So I found new interactions for us on the scroll test net. And as usual, the first thing we want to do is to get some Ethereum Sepolia from Fawcett. So you go to edsepoliafawcett.com. I am going to leave all the links that I used in this tutorial in the comment section for your convenience. So enter your wallet address. But unfortunately, I have already claimed uh, ETH Sepolia in the morning before making this video, so I couldn't claim again. So normally when you claim, the next thing you will do is you go to scroll.io slash bridge. And what we'll be doing here is to bridge our ETH Sepolia to scroll Sepolia so that we can carry out the testnet interactions. So you make sure that scroll Sepolia is the sender network and uh, sorry, you make sure Ethereum Sepolia is the sender network and scroll Sepolia is the receiver network. Then enter the amount of Ethereum you want to bridge and that is it. So after successfully bridging your Ethereum to scroll, the next thing we want to do is we are going to specify, the link is very long, I can't pronounce it word for word, but I'll put it in the comments. Then you are going to connect your MetaMask to specify. And the first thing we'll be doing here, I want to put my screen on desktop mode first. The first thing we'll be doing on specify is, we'll be sw swapping some scroll sepolia to GHO. So I am swapping 0.025 ETH and it will give me 23.233 GHO. So you will confirm that in your wallet. Okay, so now that we have some GHO, you are going to switch to the pool tab and then you are going to add liquidity. And you are going to choose the ETH, that is the scroll sepolia ETH and the GHO pairing, the, G, the GHO that you just swap into. So you are going to enter the amount of uh, each of the tokens that you want to add to the liquidity. If you enter one, the other one will automatically add in the appropriate proportion. So you are going to confirm that. Confirm it in your wallet. So the next thing we are going to do after adding this to liquidity is we are going to switch to the farm tab so you can see the transaction is successful that's the notification at the top right then we are going to switch to the farm tab make sure that your phone is on desktop view to be able to see that farm tab if it is on mobile you won't see any of those options so if you look at the top right on my screen you will see this zk sync logo you are going to tap on it let me zoom in my screen you are going to tap on that ZK Sync logo. And then when you tap on it, you are going to choose a scroll logo. You are going to see scroll Sepolia. That is the one you should choose. And you should choose MetaMask as the wallet you are going to be using. So tap on next and then connect with the farm. So at the bottom of your screen, towards the bottom, you are going to see the Ethereum and GHO pairing that you added to liquidity pool. So you are going to tap on it. So you can see the ZK Sync logo has changed to scroll now. So I am on scroll network now. So if you go to the bottom of your screen, you will see the ETH and GHO pairing that I added to liquidity pool just now. So you are going to tap on it. So what you want to do here is you want to stake your deposit for a period of time. You want to choose what period of time you are going to stake your deposit from. So you are going to tap on enable contract, then you tap on next and approve. So the first one is done, you can then tap on stake. The other ones were rolling so I couldn't do them in this video. So you are going to tap on stake. So here you can see the amount of tokens available, the pairing of ETH, GHO and I have about 1.6 and above that it is available. So you are going to indicate the amount of it that you want to add, that you want to stake. So 
I chose that and then you confirm that in your wallet. I chose one as you can see here. It is confirming. I will wait for the transaction to be successful. Okay, so that transaction, that staking transaction is successful. So the other ones, when you when the enable contract is done loading, you also see stake. So you can choose if you want to stake for 7 days and if you want to stake for 14 days. When they are downloading, you can make your choice and also repeat the process. So the next interaction on the list is Auto Finance. We are going to Auto.Finance. Every link I used will be pinned in the comment section for your convenience and then you are going to connect your wallet with the website. Tap on next and confirm. So my network is connected and I am on the scroll network as you can see that that is scroll logo. So I you put scroll sepolia on the top and then indicate what your receiving address or your receiving network would be. So I am choosing Ethereum Sepolia as my receiving network. You can also do it on the other way around, putting Ethereum Sepolia on top and then putting scroll sepolia on the bottom. So next you are going to indicate the number of scroll sepolia tokens that you want to bridge over to Ethereum Sepolia. Then tap on send ETH to Sepolia. So I had to cut the time short but the transaction wasn't more than 2 minutes at most. It was very, I like the website, it is very fast. So you can also use it for other bridging activities. So remember I sent from scroll Sepolia to Ethereum Sepolia earlier. This time I will be sending from Ethereum Sepolia back to Scroll Sepolia. So I have to switch my network so that Ethereum Sepolia can be at the top and then Scroll Sepolia at the bottom. So I'm going to indicate the number of Ethereum Sepolia I want to bridge over to Scroll Sepolia and I'll also follow the same process to complete my bridging. So I'll tap on confirm. And this transaction didn't take any time as well. The transaction is fast just like Orbiter, it took less than 2 minutes. So the transaction is successful. Next we are going to head on to do our next interaction. And that is on ESA, ESA Finance, no ESA.xyz sorry. So we are on the website now and then I am going to tap on go to bridge to go to their bridging website. Okay, so now to use Ezer.xyz, we are going to need two uh, wallets. Remember when we did Venom bridging, we needed two wallets. We needed Venom wallet and MetaMask. So it is similar on this. You are going to need Leo wallet and you are going to need your MetaMask. So we don't have Leo wallet before. We are going to download Leo wallet. So tap on download Leo wallet. The website is here and you are going to tap on download now. It takes you to their store on Chrome Web Store, the, the extension page where we are going to download the extension. So after downloading, after tapping on Add to Chrome, you can then create a new wallet since we don't have any wallet to import. And as usual, you are going to save your seed phrase somewhere, enter your password and set up your wallet. So I'm going to do that and then I am done. So after installing the wallet, I will go back to the website now. So it says connect MetaMask, I'm going to connect with my MetaMask and then afterwards I will connect with Leo Wallet. I'll confirm the pop-up. So because I want to send from scroll sepolia, I need to go to that drop down and then tap on scroll sepolia. Scroll sepolia testnet. net. 
So I'll be bridging from Scroll Sepolia to Alio. Uh, the, the website is also on testnet, I think. So you can only bridge from any token to Alio at the moment. So I'll bridge from Scroll Sepolia to Alio. Then I'll enter the number of tokens I want to bridge from Scroll to Alio. If you check the top of my screen, you'll see zero points because I need you to take note of something. Tap on send after entering your quantity and then wait for the pop-up to appear and then confirm the transaction like a normal bridging transaction. So tap on confirm. So I didn't get any pop-up that says the transaction is successful so I switched to the history tab to see the record of my transaction. So you can see the bridging here but it is not successful yet. It has left, the token has left Scrolls Epolia but it has not arrived yet in Alio. So I haven't read about Alio before, I don't know how long their bridging takes to be deposited. Maybe it is, it is in terms of hours or minutes or days because some bridging can take days depending on the stage of development that they are in. So I had to leave that. So I tapped on the transaction hash to get the information about the transaction, but there was no information yet, which means the funds have not yet arrived in Alio. So I went back. I also checked my Alio wallet. I did not see any fund there, so I went back. But as you can see on the top of my screen, there is 1000 points, which means my transaction has appeared on the blockchain. Before I was having 0 points, you know I told you guys to take note earlier. But now I have 1000 points, which, my, which means my transaction has been counted in the blockchain. So I'm going to leave that for a while and then we'll move on to the next item. So for each of the interactions we have done in today's video, there is a gas campaign for it. For Spacefy, there is a scroll and Spacefy gas campaign. So that is what we are, be, we are going to be starting with. So these are the requirements to claim their oats and the first re requirement says to have the spacer level 0 role on their discord server and if you are not in their discord server before you have to join and then make sure you have that role. So I'll tap on that task and we are going to check my own discord account in their server. Accept invite if you are not a member yet so that you can join. So I'm in the Discord server now, I'll be going to my profile and then you can see I have the role that is required. I have space layer level 0 or whatever that is required. So I'll return to Gaz and I'll complete the rest. Normally we have done bridging already on space 5. So the task should mark as done but then if you read the pop-up it says that this particular task is updated manually so we'll have to wait until the task is updated before I can claim this particular oath, which means it won't be instant. But for the rest of the tasks, everything was successful to follow them and make a retweet on Twitter. So when this particular task is updated, then I'll be able to claim oath. Next, we'll go to auto and scroll gas campaign. So here is their own requirements. The first requirement says to bridge any amount of uh, Sepolia ETH between Sepolia ETH and Scroll Sepolia. And we have done that. You can see that marked automatically. Then I'll be performing the other tasks, such as following on Twitter, making a retweet. I'll tap on the retweet button and make a retweet.
So that is not yet done as well. So I'll move on to the next one first, which is to join their Discord server and be a verified member. So I'll be joining their Discord server. I am not in the server before. And then after joining, I went through the verification process and then I have the altar role, as you can see just now. So I'll go back to girls. I'm going to refresh my girls so that I can reload everything. I have to connect with my MetaMask meta again. So every task is mask has done, now I can claim the auto and scroll NFT. Tap on confirm. The transaction has been submitted. Lastly, we are going to be doing ESA, ESA and scroll gas campaign. And the requirements are very simple as well. Follow ESA protocol on Twitter, have the verified role in their Discord server. I'll be carrying them out one after another. And lastly, to, to bridge from ETH and scroll Cipoli. And you can see that one even marked automatically. So the other ones, I'll be checking them out manually. So I'll be joining ESA Finance on Discord. And then I'm going to tap on verify to verify myself. React to any of those messages to get verified and after that I will go back to the website. So every task has been marked as completed. I'm going to claim an alt and also claim the NFT now. The transaction has been submitted. So of the three interactions we did, I was able to claim Auto and Isa NFT on Gals. The only one that is awaiting to be claimed is Spacefy and I will be checking that later. So this is the end of today's interaction. If you have any questions, do drop me a comment in the comments or join us on Telegram. I respond faster there. And if you have found value in any of my contents, do not forget to subscribe for more so that you don't miss out on important updates. Thank you for watching and I will see you tomorrow in another tutorial.